So yesterday evening I got a, an, a message from a friend. Uh, she said, please pray for my husband. Nothing is wrong with him. He's just married to me and I'm a lot. And I sent, I sent a message back, is everything okay? Is there, is there any problem, anything I should be praying for, anything I should be aware of? And she said, no, 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 I just thought it was hilarious. But I think there is a, there is a, a message in this. Please pray for my husband, nothing wrong with him, he's just married to me, and I'm a lot. Uh, I thought there's actually, even though, as I say, it was sent, it was sent in jest, uh, there is something about that kind of self-knowledge that, bless, maybe I'm not always the easiest. You know, maybe... The problem isn't always everybody else and everybody else's uh, inept uh, behavior and um, uh, ignorance or selfishness. Maybe sometimes the problem is me. Maybe sometimes the problem is that, that I'm not up to scratch, that I'm not praying enough, that I'm not serving enough, that I'm not helpful enough, that I'm not selfless enough. In our gospel today, uh, the words of Jesus, sometimes they, they, they seem so simple and maybe even so obvious, and that's kind of the, the genius of, of Jesus' teaching. Uh, his teaching isn't complicated. I mean, think of the story of the, par- the, 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 the parable of, of the, uh, the, the lost sheep, the drachma, the, uh, no one lights a lamp to put it under a, a basin, you know, they put it up in the lampstand, uh, the stories of, of, of the prodigal son. I mean, they're very easy stories. They're not complicated at all. But then we've been reflecting on these for 2,000 years and are still coming up with, with you know, ever, ever greater depths of meaning uh, for, for, for our spiritual lives, for our walk with the Lord. So what does he say today? Um, a tree can be told by its fruit. Everyone goes, yeah, that's pretty obvious. You can't get uh, good fruit from a bad tree. Again, pretty obvious. Can't get, you won't get, um, you know, from a bad tree, you'll have bad fruit, basically. A good man draws from what is good from the sore of goodness in his heart. Okay. A bad man draws from what is bad in his store of badness. For a man's words flow out of what fills his heart. A man's words flow out of what fills his heart. There's something very poignant in that. I think the more we reflect on it, it means that if I have a tendency to always say bad things, if I have a tendency to always say negative things, negativity fills my heart. Or at least it it occupies a, a great portion of it. So... You know, and we, we know these people, maybe we might even be one of those people who, who will always say the negative thing. You know, they'll, they'll walk outside today and rather than, you know, you know, you might see a bit of sun on the horizon, but they'll say, bless us, yesterday was absolutely shocking, wasn't it? Absolutely off. Never seen rain like it. We were lucky to come out of it with our lives, right? And, it's, and, that's, and that, look, that, that's, that's only a banal thing. But when you meet someone who maybe always has to be negative towards other people, um, towards maybe even their spouses, uh, their, the, the in-laws, the neighbours, the people across the way, uh, wh- whoever it is, like, but just that, 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 that negativity. What does that mean? Well, that means negativity has filled their hearts. It means that they're in, in here, in their interior life. They're full of negativity. Because if they, if they vocalise this amount of judgement, how much judgement is actually going on in their hearts? More. More, because there's only so much you can vocalize. You can, you can think an awful lot faster than you can speak. So it, it just, it, it, it's kind of a, it's a really bad sign. If a person always talks about themselves or has to, has to always steer conversation back to them. So you say, bless, I have a new job now. It's going on. It's going great. Um, I've, uh, you know, I'm after getting a new car. I'm delighted with myself. And they say, well, I'm after getting a new job as well. You let, wait till I tell you about it, right? And by the way, my new car. Yeah, it's, you know. And the story gets it's steered back to them. Again, I'm not saying this is a massive sin, but the point is, what, what has filled their hearts? Well, they're full of themselves. They're full of themselves. They have to talk about themselves rather than, how are you? Is there anything I can do for you? Is everything all right? You look a bit tired, a bit sad. Are you all right? But if the person always has to steer the conversation back to them, it's because that's what fills their hearts. I'm full of me. Everything has to revolve around me. And as long as I'm receiving a bit of glory and a bit of recognition and a bit of thanks, and as long as you know, I'm held in high esteem by others, and as long as I'm kind of the main bottle washer, the, 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 the alpha, then, then I'm okay. That's a sad place to be. Because if a box is... Well, I can't remember exactly what a, um, 
St. Francis of Sales says something along the lines of a, a box that's full of stones can't be full of something else, grain or something useful. The uh, point is if you want to fill it with something useful, you have to toss out the rocks. Uh, if we're full of ourselves, it means there is, there's no room for the Lord. That's kind of the greatness of Our Lady, you know? Empty of herself so that she can be filled with grace, so that she can be filled with God. It's the greatness of, of, of the saints, or even our, our martyrs today. St. Cornelius and Cyprian, to be so empty of yourself that, Lord, I give everything to you. If they take my life, they take my life. It belongs to you anyway. But it's, it's, it's an interesting thing, to, I guess, to gauge if we, can, if we have that uh, ability to, to reflect on ourselves at all. How much of what I say is negative? How much of what I say is about me? So, and then some people will say, well, maybe, well, maybe I, I don't say very much. You know, I'm kind of a person who stays in the background and, uh, and doesn't say a whole pile. Now, that's not necessarily a whole lot better. Because, <laughs> I mean, maybe you don't, you're not vocalizing as much of that negativity or criticism or, 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 or self-centeredness, but it may still be going on. Again, this isn't, it's not, this, I'm not saying this to criticize people, but just to, to, to have that kind of self-awareness. Where, where is my heart? Where is my heart? I mean, I, I'm talking to, to someone else recently, and they're in a very, very, very negative place as regards themselves. So there is, they have a, an almost inability at this point to accept any sort of a compliment or affirmation, anything positive at all as regards them. You say, thank you. Oh, no, no, I did nothing. I did nothing. I'm sure everyone else was everyone else. No, actually, no, it was you. Thank you. You did great. No, stop, stop. And then they'll walk away. And you go, hang on, hang on, hang on, come back. Take this. Accept this compliment right now. Okay, accept it. Accept it. You did great. And they can't. They almost can't. Because what's, what has filled their hearts is, 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 is a deep negativity towards themselves. You know, so the, 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 the Lord, again, doesn't look at us like pointing a finger, wagging a finger at us. But he wants our hearts to be healed. So all of these kind of all of these extremes, he wants to heal. We 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 should be humble, but not so. Well, not not self-deprecation may appear to be humility, but it's not. I mean, humility is the recognition of truth. So if God has blessed me, then God has blessed me. The Almighty has done great things for me. When Our Lady says this, that is not a lack of humility. He has done, he did great things for her. It's the truth. So recognizing the blessings of God is not is not a lack of humility. Or saying, oh, I'm the worst, I'm the worst, oh, I'm terrible, I'm absolutely awful. Now, if you actually believe that, that's, that's a very negative place, that's a very sad place to be. Or, but then, we humans can be complicated. There was a person I knew back in the day who used to say, oh, I'm the worst, I'm the worst, I'm terrible, I'm terrible. And everyone would say, oh, you're not. Really? Really, am I not? No, no, you're not, you're not, you're great, really? I don't know, I think I'm terrible. <laughs> but if anyone else said, Japers, you're terrible, how? dare you <laughs> so they can say they're terrible as long as someone else doesn't say it so hang on what do you actually believe here what are you actually doing what kind of manipulation is going on here you know so yes we can we can be complicated we can be very very complex but what does the lord want the lord wants that kind of that kind of simplicity of heart to recognize yeah we're not we're not perfect we're not perfect and how do we recognize then where the Lord wants to heal us or what the Lord wants to do in us? Well, a helpful thing is, yeah, is to recognize what, what do we say? What do we vocalize? How often are, are we able to say, are you okay? Can, is there anything I can do for you? Or is what comes out of our mouths generally negative? Is it critical? And there may even, we, we may even be able to justify our criticism. You know, this is my, this is my responsibility. I'm responsible for this area or these people or this troop or whatever it is so I'm supposed to be kind of analytical of what's going on here so if someone's out of line they're out of line okay good you deal with people people are, are flawed agreed but does that mean that that has to be said to other people does that mean it has to be discussed with others that aren't part of the solution so what comes out of our of our mouths will indicate what fills our hearts and our goal, our challenge, is to fill our hearts then with what is good. To fill our hearts with charity. Fill our hearts with mercy. 
to fill our hearts with love, to fill our hearts with a desire to see the other happy, to see the other healed, to see the other in a good place, to fill our hearts with God, to fill our hearts with that selfless love. And that might involve pruning, that might involve keeping our trap shut, keeping our mouths closed, and choosing silence. Better again, uh, when there is a negative situation or a situation that really uh, that we find difficult to pray for them, pray for that person and pray for ourselves. Bless them, change me. Bless them, Lord, change me. So Lord, we ask you today to renew our hearts that they may be filled with you and that as we speak, what may come out of our mouths is blessing, is positivity, is joy. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining us uh, for our Masses and Homilies here in Holy Family Mission. We would like to ask uh, two things of you, if we may. We're about to start our new year uh, with uh, our new community members on Sunday week, the 24th of September. It's our, our eighth year, and we're delighted now to welcome uh, our new community uh, to be part of Holy Family for this year of faith formation, where they should discover a new or, to a greater depth, this personal relationship with Jesus and his transforming and healing power. So, to that end, we are also uh, re restoring our uh, chapel here. Uh, unfortunately, we have a leaking roof and leaking walls, and so we were quoted recently at uh, 6,000 euro to do some work here in the chapel and some work in the house where, which has, has similar problems. So if you could help us uh, with this appeal we would be greatly, greatly appreciative so that this work can continue. We wish to uh, be instruments of the Lord in renewing the faith. We want young people to know who Jesus is. And so this, this chapel is used a lot, thank God, uh, but we'd like to, to keep it in, 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 in working order and uh, to have the most beautiful place that we can for the Lord to reside in and for people to pray in. So if you'd like to support this appeal uh, the, to this chapel dedicated to Our Lady of Sorrows, please go to our website, holyfamilymission.ie, and you can donate there. And all donations will be greatly, greatly appreciated. God bless you.